Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Hey, hey guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So before I play this video, you know, I really just want to say one thing about Alexia and Darren from Put A Ring On It. I feel like in this video, Alexa making excuses is a continuation why she really hasn't left Darian in the first place and that she will continue to be with Darian. But I'm about to play this video. Let me know your thoughts. As always, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. I be trying to tell people like, cause they don't, you know, nobody really knows me, but you guys, you know what I'm saying? So y'all know, you know, I talk a lot of mess. You know, I'm, you know, I get it, you know. Um, yeah. So like, it's funny, like when I, on the show, so I'm on the show, put a ring on it. So it's about three couples that go on dates with other people, but you decide by the end of the show to either put a ring on it or go your separate ways. Mm -hmm. um, me and Darian, obviously we're in a relationship 14 years on and off. And within those 14 years, people need to understand that I was in college for four. Mm -hmm. I was overseas for six. And my retirement, as far as four years since I retired, you know, that's when we were really just trying to work it out. But let's I don't like... Politely. Let's put it politely. So things happen in that time between you two. Of course. So, yes, Black wasn't the only man I've ever dated within 14 years. But... So, um, things happen. We get it. Okay. Sorry, somebody was trying to call. But uh, just making it, like... The thing that kind of made me a little like, what? Like the comments, some of the comments were just like, uh, she's not an alpha. She don't know what alpha means. I'm like, y'all don't know me. So <laughs> they what? don't know that I'm, that I'm an alpha. On screen or not? What would I, mean, say? You know, I like the way you present yourself because behind the scenes is when a woman's supposed to show that they alpha, not embarrassing no man. That might uh, bring... That might make a man feel like he has to show out or bring a negative reaction. So, uh, uh, alpha woman, they will check your ass. They'll just let you look tough in front of your friend because they understand what that means. An alpha woman, just sit back, be quiet, then boy, when them doors close, <laughs> they owe your ass. You know that, the woman is. that's yelling public, she ain't no alpha woman. The alpha right. woman is sitting back, poor. Mm, she thinking, boy, I can't wait to respond to this shit. Right, right. <laughs> and, and, supposed to do it well, so I, was I just, yeah so let me ask you this so what did you take from that first episode i mean i just thought that y'all was gonna get in trouble the men i know me uh i don't think and i don't think most men are equipped to go on a date with another beautiful woman to figure out their woman that right. just make me me myself, I'll probably get in a little bit of trouble. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I don't want to go on a date. <laughs> right. But I, we agreed to do it, you know, for the situation of the process. Like, come on, like, you know, in real life, I'm not going to let no woman come to my house and take my dude out. That's crazy. Right. But that's part of the process. So that and I will say, like, on that first episode, I really did not know that that girl was coming to the house that day. Mm -hmm. I was literally chill. You know me, like whether it be tights whether it be sweatpants whether it be a t-shirt whether it be a tank top like i'm watching i am athlete i'm chilling you know so when that knock happened i was like you know i was really like shocked so and i was more so like dang why i didn't know this girl was coming you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like i was just really being my authentic self so i wasn't about to put on and do nothing extra for nobody when he went on his date i felt like it was some things that he could have not did because regardless of what, what we agreed to do it's just kind of like, come on now, at the end of the day, even though Dr. Nicole ripped up the rules, you got your own morals, your own rules. You know what I'm saying? So why are we holding hands? Why are we doing that extra stuff? Like, you don't even know this woman. And my reason of getting mad, it's not that he went on a date. I don't care. That was part of the process. My reason of getting mad is that you came home and you sat on the couch and you talking to me about this woman's body like I didn't see what she looked like. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my, where I'm upset at. That's why I walked off. It had nothing to do with about another woman. Like, I got my own thing going, you know? So with me, I'm never really worried about the next woman. I'm worried about either what you're telling me or what you're doing that's jeopardizing our situation. But my whole thing is, I'm probably one of the easiest people to communicate with because as long as you keep it a buck, keep it a hundred, 
as far as whatever you feel or what's going on I'm, that's probably why I let so much stuff ride I'm like ah, okay whatever because I don't be caring too much but now you're in a, a controlled situation where you have to witness this you have to see this you know we're we're man that that thing right but there, it was uncomfortable it was it's just uncomfortable like uh, and then like I'm around these people all day not just black like obviously you know you know we're agreeing to do this I'm around production all day, you know, I'm around, they're in and out my house all day. We're in and out these dates all day. Like, it's just weird. And people don't get it regardless of what we signed up for. You never really know what it is until you're in that situation. I mean, the experience, I will say, taught me a lot. But if we're just going on, like, just talk about, like, my whole thing is, it was different just to see myself on television because I was like, you know, some things I was like, dang, I wish I would have did this a little differently, but it is what it is, because I see somebody make the comment, um, producers make it drama, but that's not true, because it's three couples in relationships, and we're talking about our stories, we're talking about, like, I'm talking about what issues I have with him, he's talking about what issues he had with me, and yeah, it might be different to put you on these dates, go on dates with other people, but you're supposed to be learning something from going on these dates to bring it back to your situation. And it's not to say that you have to do anything, but you're you're ultimately ultimately learning something from these dates. I will say I'll be learning first, something. <laughs> I will say from my first date, his name is Chris. So obviously if you guys watch the show, I went on a date with him, good looking dude. But the thing is with me, I didn't even give the man a chance. And I didn't give him a chance because I'm already in the mind frame of my dude is at home. I know what I agreed to do. I, I agreed to go on a date. But it was just, it's, it's kind of difficult to try to get to know someone when you're ultimately in a relationship, regardless if she say tear the rules up. So I can honestly say I did not give that man a chance um, at all. Uh, so I kind of shut it down. And then that's kind of why I did get a little defensive when he was like, do you know yourself? Of course I know myself. But, you know, it's hard when things are being discussed and then things are cut out too. So you're not going to get the full blow of Lex unless you just know me or unless you follow me or unless unless I didn't meet you on the damn court and you talk crazy to me. Because that's what I do. I talk. I do talk. I do talk. We got to stop being so triggered. If we really want relationships to work, then you got to focus on the work. Because shit, it ain't glitz and glamour and what they showing you on TV. Right. That, that shit is that shit is not real life. And that's why I got mad. So let me yeah. cut you off. That's why I got mad because when he sat on the couch and he said, she do what you don't do, you just met this girl. What you talking about? Right. You can't compare 14 years to she who do been, what you don't do. And who been doing the work, the service? Who been, he been taking out the trash. All the good stuff that y'all have to do to make a house run. They need to show uh, shows that show the work. How couples make the day-to-day -day grind work. I wish... They can just bring reality TV cameras on real couples, real married couples, and see. That shit is work. Well, that's 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 if you're married. But this whole thing, this show is about, you know, obviously either the girl or the guy wants to get married, and the guy or the girl either does or doesn't, or is like at a standstill of should we be married or not. So that's what this show is. It is showing our day to day as far as you know. We get Dr. Nicole is pretty much the host of the show. And we're getting advice from her. She's a great therapist. I've really learned a lot from her as far as what to do to better our situation. So I will say that that's what this show is about. Um, and I, I mostly, like, especially I just keep rewatching those first two episodes because it just kind of makes me think, like, I get the experience. And, and a lot, I feel like a lot of the guys are respectful or whatever, even the girls or whatever. People might not say that, but whatever. But I feel like when I watch my situation and I'm watching my dude walking in a restaurant holding this girl hand with his arm around her and all this extra stuff, like, come on, man, you could have, you were the one who came up with the rules, no touching, no giving hugs, and you doing, you doing all that in the most. I don't care if them rip, those, those rules were ripped up. You still have your own morals. Like, I'm not you walking in holding nobody. Rules were ripped up. The doctor told us to write down some rules for your partner. And then at the end, she said, rip them up. So we ripped so them what up. You, mean you don't care. And she, hold on. You got to listen to the good doc. She said, rip them rules up. And I think the reason I can't speak for 
But I think she wanted to show him the rules, but then rip them up because he ultimately, at the end of the day, got to make a choice. There you go. Yeah. You can put rules in place. You can put a ring on the finger, but at the end of the day, it's a man's choice. Exactly. And, you know, he made, a, he made a choice. So now you see the choice. So then when we argue about it, he's like, I'm going through the process, but the process has nothing to do with you. You you can't go into a process like like you don't have someone. You go into the process knowing you have someone, but at the same time, it gives you a decision to make. Do you want to just be disrespectful, or do you want to be respectful and figure out your but situation? Are you, are you thinking from a male's perspective, though? Yeah, because a, a I'm thinking male, from both. A male is visual. I've just said, like... I, I'll say this, the reason why I said initially that I wouldn't want to put myself in that situation. Right. Just imagine if you put uh, one of my dates with Maria Taylor. <laughs> Just imagine if that was my date and that's who they set me up with. And and um, me and you had to made this pack, right? And right. I had to call myself, I done felt myself rip it up. And then I see Maria sitting at that table. And I'm visual now. Lion, king of the jungle. Boy, look at him. And I right. start looking at I start looking at what's in front of me. And it's visual now. It's a very good picture. We tend to forget what we say. Right. Right. But the grass ain't always greener on the other side. But respectfully, you as also being the whether it be a girl or a guy. When you're going on dates with someone who's in a relationship, you have to respect that they're in a relationship. So when you're making these gestures about how would you like it if I kiss you, all this, come on, man, you're doing too much. It's day one. Come on. Tell me if I'm wrong. You already know what time it is, Kwame. So am I wrong? Um, I be hearing y'all sisters say y'all stick together. But it's always the sister taking y'all, man. It's always them sisters that some of them don't give a F. And you know what I mean? Like we, like we above that. Yeah, he cheated on you. Look, he cheated on you. But girl, you knew I was with her. Something wrong with you. You knew. Did that girl know he was with you? Yeah. We go into the, yeah. So three what happened? Good. So listen, three couples. Above no man cheat. It should listen, be, it should be three quick. Three couples. No, listen. Three couples go on dates with other people. And obviously you're learning something from the dates. So I'm not talking about anything. I'm talking about if we're saying just saying respectfully like you know the man has a girl so at the end of the day if you know the man has a girl who comes off and say how would you like it if i kissed you hmm. what that say about you that's hmm. just like a married man hold on that's just like a married man who's married right and he want to be single for the night so he go take his ring off like that's retarded at the end of the day you're still in a relationship well, or marriage or whatever the, the sad reality is nowadays if he leave the ring on, he's almost guaranteed to leave with somebody. I know that's that's a weird part. My thing is this, and I, I don't want people to get it confused. Like, I know who to come to when it comes to the disrespect because Smoke's loyalty or Darian's loyalty is with me, and not the the girl don't owe me no loyalty. But at the same time, all I'm saying is, if you're going on a a, a show and to get to know someone, but you do like you go, even he said it going so hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know this, man. You don't, you talking about kissing on the first day. That's what you do. That's what you do. But my point is, I feel like if you ultimately, at the age we're at now, I'm 34. Like, I ain't college lick. I ain't, you know, wild lick that I used to be. Like, I'm going into a situation like, let's figure this out, you know, or let's do what we got to do. But at the end of the day, I'm not going on these dates with the guy or like even Chris, great looking guy. I'm not saying, hey, how would you like it if I kiss you? Like, no, that's what the girl said to Black. You bet. First date. It's okay if she said it. <laughs> but but right. you feel like, tell me what you think about that. I mean, that's just an unchecked, that's that situation that y'all women got to check that. Us men, we can't check other, you guys have allowed it to where you only check the men for the things they do. Y'all haven't checked the women for always being available for these men. And it's so too the women good. still have to hold themselves accountable. But they're not gonna hold themselves accountable. You women hold them accountable. You right. guys holding the men accountable. Men, we ain't shit. We telling you that. We tell most men, if you will allow us, if you if you just ask a man, hey, would you rather have three of us or one of us? Almost every man would say three. Why wouldn't you? All you 
awesome sometimes. But other people are fucking awesome. So why wouldn't you want more of that awesome? So all I'm saying is, it's not right. It don't make people feel good. It's not comfortable to hear, but it's in our nature to do that. And that's all I'm saying. If you block our nature, then okay, men, some men can do it. Some men can say, you know what, because of the love, because of the kids or whatever else, I'm gonna do this. But it right. takes a kind of woman to understand that, okay, he's making a choice, just like you, women make choices too not to do it. That's right. What, you gotta stop emphasizing like men are the only one cheating. Are you kidding me? With my big tall ass going to ball? It's about even, I'm telling you. I'm t- the girl, look, the girl said everyone checks a man, but so many women lost. Some have been side chick for a decade. Some women have been a side chick for a decade with failed relationships and a ring. Yeah. It's almost like, uh, uh, it's to me, me personally, I think uh, women enjoy the benefits of being the side chick. They seem like they get more benefits. They can be a side chick over here, side chick over there. And she's going on the trip. She's the one going on the boat. She's the one. She's having all the fun. So she don't want the headache and, and the heartache of doing the work. The yeah. real women out there doing the work, they got to do the laundry. They got to take the kids to school. They don't want that part of it. They want to drop the kid off and still be able to have fun. They, I'm telling you, if I call a few girls, I'm going to go on the boat right now. They don't, even if they got a boyfriend or even. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna care, huh? They don't give a fuck. They wanna go on the boat, get on Instagram. You know what I mean? This That's internet crazy. Make everybody wanna be so showboaty and make their life seem so extravagant. And it's really not. And I know women that they just call it I like the women that keep it a buck. Look, I don't wanna be in no relationship. I know girls that got a dude that take them to dinner. I know I know a, a girl that got a dude that take them uh to lunch that the one that she want to go to the movies with, that she can get close to because his breath ain't stink. They mm. got <laughs> girls got for every situation that they want to be in and they just use men to pay for whatever they want to do. And mm-hmm. I respect, that's what you want to do, do that. But let's not pretend like men are these bad creatures that's doing you wrong when most men are paying and funding everything, that all the fun you want to do. When you on them boats and you leaning over and Pointing at that Rolls Royce, that's a man paying for that or rented that. You in there with him. Right. So start being a little more respectful to each other. No one's above each other. If you want to go out and have fun, have your fun. But you don't have mm-hmm. to have babies because of that. Um, you don't that have part. to. Just do it the right way. Get on birth control. Get you. People ain't going to use no condoms. I don't even know why people keep saying that. <laughs> God damn it. Put on, get some birth control. Shit. It ain't gonna what make type of people is you dealing with? Tommy, what? Man, listen. Where did that go? Where did I'm, that go? I'm dealing with the number of, of children that's being born. Obviously, somebody taking on the condom at some point. I look up numbers. So we got to stop having these Hennessy liquor babies. We got to start having love children. If we got to, it just seems like we try to keep this fight up between men and women like one is worse than the other. It's some treacherous ass women and it's some treacherous ass men. And we gotta start, stop worrying about the negative part and we gotta start getting together and we gotta stop being so fucking territorial. Right. Like, this shit crazy to me. We, it's, 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 it's easy. We got beautiful black educated women and it seems like the more education y'all get, <laughs> the more you can't, and who you tell to be quiet? Oh shit! Wait a minute. I'm just saying. I just want to thank for a second. Tommy is crazy. I'm just saying. I might be trying to think of something that you know maybe can rewrite history or something. Do something nobody ain't never done. And you you know, might need to be. Uh, you you might doing? need to be. Um, you might find a career just now with relationship advice. No, that's only because that's only because I done been in so many situations. I done been in every side of the spectrum. I've been the guy sitting next to a woman, hearing her lie like a mother to a guy. We done took two shots. She tell him, oh, I just got out of the shower. And, uh, well, you know, one of my friends, she was hurt. And this is now. And matter of fact, by the time the end of the conversation, she flipped it on. Why was you checking me anyway? Why you, I told you I was going to be busy today. Don't even call me like that. I don't got time. Hang on the phone. She get home, call me. 
bought me flowers and shit. So it's some treasure. Been with me all day. Are you serious? Yes, yes. We got we gotta stop pretending like she go both ways. When a woman wants something, she gonna get it. And when a man wants something, some type of men, they gotta have money though. There's no <laughs> They gotta have money, but y'all women gonna. But I will shit. say, I will say, Kwame, the, the circle I run, roll in, you know, we done been in all different types of, you know, we know, we athletes, especially when we were playing, you know, no disrespect to nobody, but you know, I've been on the overseas where, you know, I've seen married men, you know, bring one in and they wife be dead, and I be like, and then I done been in a situation where I see married men and they bout they women. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing in between. Now, whatever understanding they got is they understand it. But I'm not no naive person myself. So I'm, if I'm overseas, and you and you know me for a long yeah. time, I never believed in marriage just because of what I saw and the type of people I was around. But, you know, I'm not around all those type of people anymore. And most of my friends have either got away from that or have evolved, are married, have kids, and they faithful. So at the end of the day, it's not about a situation if, you know, someone you know, married man cheating. It's just about where, when do we go up, grow up from here? When do we grow up and decide to step up as a woman or as a man? Like, look, we too old for these games. It's time to really figure life out. And sometimes people don't grow up. You know, sometimes people can talk a good game all they want and they out here doing the same thing, moving moving the same, you know? I but I don't I, want to no more. I've been watching Floyd Mayweather Instagram. It looked like he having a lot of fun. When I look back and watch Derek Jeter, and it looked like he had a lot of fun. And good, clean fun. Just date him, hang out, date him, and get home. I think hey, that's... Some, they gonna stop with it. Hey, you naive with Phil <laughs> Mop. They music not good. No, they, they killing me with that. Tell us some, you naive with Phil Mop. They music like not good. First of all, let's just keep it a fuck. Kwame right or wrong. Um, if you grew up, if you were 80s or 90s baby or whatever, and you grew up, Phil Mob was who we was listening all to. I know. Okay. Okay, so I'm tired of people doing, like, y'all ain't, y'all ain't got to do all the hating now. Like, come on now. Y'all don't have to know him, but at the end of the day, I, I got to call a spade a spade. Man, what does that matter? They, they, they brainwash our society to think mm -hmm. that you only supposed to date celebrities, A-list celebrities, like, those, these are the best men? What if, he was and, a, what if he was just a truck driver? Right, and that's what I'm saying. So when people make the comment, I see comments here. I see comments being posted that, oh, Lexi is naive. She's only with this man because he think he's a celebrity. Look, that ain't got nothing to do with nothing to do with nothing. Hey, Kwame, I know you. I know people, you know, half of my friends are in the NBA, NFL, play baseball, professional athletes, people I used to date that were in the limelight, people that weren't in the limelight. You don't have to be in the limelight to date somebody, first of all. Secondly, if, if you a rapper, a hooper, and I'm your girl, I'm going to support you 100%. So at the end of the day, regardless of what you got going on, what you don't got going on, like, I'm going to be a real person because I take care of me, for mm -hmm. one, you know, and a man don't have to complete me, for two. So at the end of the day, it's just, it is what it is, but I don't like when people, like, just keep bashing a man, like, you ain't got to bash a man about music because y'all probably up here playing So What, y'all probably up here playing Georgia, not even knowing who you listening to, like, it is what it is, but let that man have his flowers, they did their thing. Um, when they was playing, you know, playing their music, and that's just what it is. Like two two nine in the building, two two nine gotta, in the building. Because that's a man that you like, so it ain't about what somebody else like. Yeah, right. I don't care. I don't care if, like I said, it ain't. It could be a a, a burger a flipper. He could work at Burger King. If he do a good job at flipping his burgers, I'ma support him. Matter nah. of fact, I might invest. Like, I might, in, I might do, invest in a Burger King. You know what I mean? Nah, that's he, what it is. Passing it on a damn Burger King flip. You lying like a motherfucker now. Y'all women. I'm just that, making a point. He at least got to be the goddamn manager for you to date him now. You lying like a motherfucker now. No, I'm making a point to say I, for me. It. Yeah, I'm making a point. Like, whatever you choose to do with your life, whether it be be a musician, whatever, if I'm fooling with you, I'm going to back you. I don't care what. See, that's what you say. Like what dudes would say. That's not what a woman is supposed to say. Women are attracted to power and money. You'll get with a Burger King flipper thinking that you can build them up. But as soon as that shit don't work, you're going to be the one to tear down. But so that, all I'm saying is all that's, women are that, the same. You got your women. That's what I'm who saying. Who you for the bread? You got no, all of them who got their own not, 
it's not about being with you for the bread. It's about being with you for the security. Women, you, you want a man that can protect he and said, I'm No, I'm just saying, like me, I can work with a girl that uh, work that flipping burgers. As long as she got the mindset that when I show you what I show you, you help me do what I'm doing on a better scale. And if she flipping them burgers, she's going to be fine in a motherfucker. I don't care if she got grease on her pants or on her shirt. Come on, girl, take that shit off. Well, look, because they get in... They getting real. They getting real messy here. Let me be honest with you. Okay, I ain't trying to be with a burger flipper. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is whatever you. So that was a bad example. Whatever you decide to do with your life, whatever that is, I got your back. So yeah. obviously for me, you well, have to be. Work. If I don't want to work, will you take work over for me and take care of me? You said what? For life, I don't want. How about that? Call me. Shut up. You trying to be funny? Listen, this, you get my point. Like at the end of the day. I get it, you know, I get it. But at the same time, I'm just saying for me, you don't have to be a, as we would say, a celebrity. <laughs> you don't have to be that. You can be a regular person working a nine to five, making good money, doing your part. But that's and what, what we got to get back to.